This is Terrible Tim Witherspoon, former two-time heavyweight champ of the world. And this is my YouTube channel. All right, so we got a big treat today. Tim's very good friend is here. Dean Williams, the Welsh Road Warrior. That's right. Yep, quite a history. I heard um, you were a sparring partner for a number of really big names, including uh, Tim. Am I correct, you guys? Yeah, we sparred several times. A yep. lot of times. Yep. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh. 30 seconds. It's not 10 seconds. Keep your hands up. Slide out of there. Slide out of there. Right. Whoa, Get whoa, out of whoa. there. Hook your way out. Hook your way out. Three hooks. Three hooks. Move to the left while you're hooking. Hook your way out. Hook. You're not going to have to go to moving with your body. Beautiful. Yeah, and uh, so who, who are the big names that you are? Uh, you had gotten in the ring with? Well, number one is, is the champ right uh, here, two-time heavyweight champ, and uh, been in the ring with the, the lights of uh, Thomas the Hitman Hearns, five-time world champ, um, Larry Holmes, uh, you know, uh, legend jab, but the overhand right is my man right here. Oh, yeah. You know, so, and many, many other fighters have been in the champ. Name some more, name some more. Uh, and I work with the best, I've been in camp with Lennox Lewis, and, uh, and everybody who work with Manny Stewart, you know, so uh, Teddy Atlas have been around the best in the business, you know, even Freddie Roach. So, uh -huh. you know, really blessed. And in a movie, right? And, I, in a, and in a movie. I was in the movie Creed 2. Uh, it was an opportunity. I thank Joey Rodriguez for that opportunity. Uh, called me up and got, got me the opportunity to get in a movie and want to help him out with the uh, some of the production and whatnot too. So it was just a great, great time, great opportunity. Excellent. And uh, you're here today. You brought some of your fighters down to uh, spar with some of Tim's fighters. So it was- uh, No, my son's- Your son's fighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah your son. Yeah, that's you right. right. <laughs> he, he'd rather be an assistant. Yeah, yeah he's, the, he's the captain and you're the lieutenant. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Little military, because yeah, we're- Dean, Dean and I are both Dean, military guys. Listen, Dean, we talk- Frequently, all the time, he called me. I call him. Yeah. And so, how did you guys meet? Well, I was in camp with him back in 1995 at the Fernwood, and uh, got the opportunity uh, to go down and train with, with the champ and be one of his uh, spam partners. Uh, we both had the same coach. Uh, country was uh, who uh, trained uh, Tim uh, was at Gleason's too, and uh, he told me about the opportunity. So, went up to the Poconos. I was living in Brooklyn at, at the time, and. Uh, Went up to the Pokers and got to work with, with uh, two-time heavyweight champ, the priceless experience. The only man that can show you truly how to throw the, the overhand oh, right. <laughs> uh, better than anybody I've ever seen do it in the world, you know, so. But Anthony Joshua needs some of this knowledge right here. Um, you know, nothing like that. He was in the corner, he trained me for, for a couple of my fights and cornered me for a big fight I had in Philadelphia and it was, uh, it was just awesome. To have the champ in the corner, two-time champ, priceless. You know. Excellent. And That's uh, when I was just learning too how to be a trainer. You're a boxer, but when you yeah. transfer over, you got to put all that information together and try to do the best you can. So back then, I was just switching over, and we still did good. You know, whatever Slim trained you sometime a little, a little bit. bit. A little yeah, bit. Slim did. Yeah, yeah, he trained him a little bit. So you know, he's been around the legends of the you know these youngsters don't even know, um, but he's been around the you know the best of the best uh, growing up in Philadelphia. You know, and uh, then he passes on. You, you, you know, there's one thing about being a, a great fighter um, and not being able to translate it, but Tim does a very, you know, does a great job translating his knowledge. That's excellent. So, since we have you here, we gotta pick your brain for uh, one technique of yours that you think's uh, important. So I'll let I you go the from most there. Important, the most important thing is the jab. I think that every fighter should establish the jab. It takes control of your opponent, sets everything up, keeping your feet underneath you. And uh, Champ knows right here, you can even look at the clip uh, on his YouTube channel uh, that you put up. The, the, the clip of first thing he does before he lands overhand right is he jabs yeah, first. Yeah. You touch him with the jab. Don't have to be hard, sometimes you just touch. But you know, the jab is, uh, is the most important punch in boxing. I believe it. it uh, 
you know, lays the foundation for everything else. It's the first, it's the first thing when the bell rings, any fight. I never, I really haven't seen that many uh, boxers just come out and like just throw stuff. But when the bell rings, the first ammunition you use is the jab. So why not perfect it and um, have some really hard am ammunition coming behind that jab? So that's what I was taught. You so know, I, get that, pick that jab out there and then everything else come follows it. So there you go, man. It's awesome. Real, and if you real can't jab. You the head to keep jabbing to the body. Uh, so change it up. Change yeah, it up. Absolutely. Yep. And we're going to definitely be, uh, you'll be down here a few more times, correct? Yes, so sir. we're yes, definitely going to have to get a little bit more in depth and technique. No doubt. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, we family, you know. That's so right. It's right. been a, a real blast experience uh, today. Um, I thank God first, you know, uh, for everybody coming down safe and, you know, getting uh, to pick his brains, uh, everybody, and, and uh, you know, the champ passing on his great knowledge is priceless. Well, well, we might have to champ. make a road. <laughs> 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 Tim's got to get paid. Man. No, 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 not with, not with Dean. Not with nah. nope. So we'll have to make a road trip up there maybe one time, Tim. Yeah, that yeah, would be great. Yeah, pack up yeah. and uh, head up there. All right, well, come see them many times. I can come You've been to my man. house. You've been yeah. to my. Yeah. Jim's been to my house. Oh man, you know, been to the dungeon, lifelong friendship. You know, so uh, it, it's just uh, we, we reunited. Listen, that that's a hundred percent correct. You know, ever since I met him and Tanya, um, nothing but goodness coming from them. You know, invite you, happy talking to you, not not no angry, no angry, nothing, no no negative. All the time positive, yeah. so um, that's why when you that's why when you uh, when he said he was coming down, I had to get you to come film yeah. us. And I was you happy to meet him. Yeah. Later with him. Great, though. great guy, and uh, also served in two different armies: the British yeah. Royal Army, right, and yeah, and the U.S. Army. The British Navy. When yep. I came out of high school, and then I Ooh. served in the U.S. Army. Wow, man! Thank you for your service to Thank our you. country, and I'm that. sure the British, when they hear this, are going to be very thankful too. Thank you. So, appreciate you coming. And uh, like I said, we're going to be doing many more. Okay. Subscribe, everybody. Yeah, got to subscribe. <laughs>